Hey guys, this is Sam for the Viper Phase 7 here, and welcome to part 2 of 57. Let's be right to 3. Time to finish out the rest of the fourth race of the Philippine Digital Cup Pro League. Yeah. <laughs> And we start the seal off with my oil light coming on. <laughs> Hooray. So yeah, uh, your oil's gonna be a concern in this series. So, uh, expect your oil light to come on in the fourth race. AKA this race. Cause, uh, yeah. So yeah, spend your oil like to come on in this dress every time. So yeah, your so yeah, your oil's gonna be a concern in this championship. But again, it shouldn't really be that big of a deal. I mean yeah, you're gonna lose force power, but you shouldn't lose too much. So yeah. That's a high emo. Running in fourth place, I think. I'm not sure if I'm going to win my lap or not. I might. Is that the evil's first piss off the race? No, it's not. Is it? No, I don't think that's the evil's first piss off the race. I think I don't remember him hitting him. I don't know, I don't remember. By the way, I'm hoping to do four races today. I don't know if I will, but I'm gonna try to. my lead even further. There. Man. And, uh, yep, we can get a sense for a second stop on the race. I may be able to get him on the pants, I don't know. No, not quite. 
but yes, right there. You may find if I was still testing, even though I'm on more than 100 from him. I don't know why I went to 30 years from now. I'll, I'm gonna laugh if I'm still catching the other side, even though I'm on worse cards than he is. So far, I'm still in the laugh. Even though I'm not laughing, because it's not laughing for whatsoever. I swear, you may understand. <laughs> Whoa. And of course, the poor men's name for I don't know how many times. Now two laps to go. Alright. In fact, the NSX is now lapped down for that. Or, I mean, the NSX just now lapped for that. watching a lot of videos about Cinder Ford. Um, well, not, well, maybe not lately, but in the last, like, few days, I've been watching a lot of Cinder Point videos. Because I'm hoping to go to Cinder Point next year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping to go to Cinder Point next year. I, the last time I'm, the last time, yeah, the last time I've been to Cinder Point was 2014. And I'm hoping to go and I'm hoping to go to Cedar Point next year in 2020. And um, I plan on going on some new I'm, I plan on going on some uh posters that I never want to run on. I plan on go I plan uh, I plan on running on Gemini. And maybe, maybe Ryan Magnum. I don't know about Magnum. I, I'm really unsure about that. Because that thing goes 70, 72 miles an hour. Of course, I'm still going to ride my usual lines, like the bumper cars, and play some arcade games, and all that. And ride the tier lift. Yeah, some of those other rides I plan on riding, of course. And I do plan on riding... Gemini. And maybe Magnum. So, yeah. I was even, I was even, um, watching videos of going on board on Magnum, and it looks cool, but at the same time, it also looks scary, kind of. A 
this wall. Personally, if you ask me, I think the most sparing ride in Cedar Point in general is tripping the top of the ground here. Because that thing was literally 400 feet. Well, the coaster reaches 400 feet in the air. Is that right in the air? I don't even know. The point is, is that the poster is 400 feet, and that's really freaking high. And, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I am never going to ride that. Nope. Nope. I'm not riding that. Never. And holy crap, my front tires. Okay, well, um, this is going to be a very slow couple laps. I didn't even realize how bad my turns were already. Oh yeah, that's what I plan on um, riding next year. That's what I plan on riding with Cedar Point next time I go over there. Gemini and Mamie Magnum. And a very very, very big maybe on Steel Vengeance. So yeah. They took out a few, uh, I'm trying to think of Bennington that's been going nowhere in Cedar Point lately. I think Cedar Point may be planning something big next year. Because next year, in 2020, will be Cedar Point's 150th anniversary. So you can probably imagine that they're going to be planning something big next year. For their anniversary. You know, 150th anniversary, yeah. Man, I have almost, man, I have almost, I have almost zero grip right now. Um, ah. I'm going to go really slow around these turns. Holy crap. Yeah. I mean, I'm not pitting. Nope, I'm not pitting. This is just going to be a very slow last couple laps. But yeah, I can't really think of anything else that Cedar Point's planning. All I know is that I'm pretty sure they're going to be doing something big in 2020. Because like I said, in 2020, okay, next year, it'll be their 150th anniversary. 
So you can probably, so you can definitely tell them they're going to be finding something big in 2020. Okay, next year. Crap, I have no grip. Hey, at least I didn't hit any walls yet. Yeah. I'm gonna hit a 137. Am I wearing out tires? Like, super wearing out tires. At this point, I'm going to have to use the curves to my advantage. <laughs> Super slow around the turns. Oh yeah, that's my whole uh, thing on center point. And there we go, the one my lap. How? Is this the thing? It lasts like in the first two races. <laughs> in the first two races, yeah, sex was just amazing. As far as, you know, pulling away and all that at the beginning of the at the very beginning of the race. And now in this race, now it sucks the poor batter and just slow around the scrap. They ran the slow road. Kind of. So, um. This has been the easiest. <coughs> this has been the easiest race so far. Because holy crap. Anyways, thanks for guys so much for the video. If you like it, also comment down in the comment section below. Have a famous video. And. We will start the fifth race in the next video. So, this has been Family with the Virus Fan Central, and I'll see you guys later.